are you preparing to crack the West Bengal's postgraduate entrance examination? If so, watch this video till the end because we are going to cover the essentials of the exam, which is the examination pattern as well as the syllabus that you have to consider for your preparation. And also, you can access all of this information from one space itself that is from exams.freshesnow.com. How can you get there? I'll be showing you further. Before we head over, I would like to request you all to please click on the subscribe button so that you would be staying tuned with our informative videos like this. And also, I would like to welcome you all to this video where we are going to know about WBUT PGET examination pattern and syllabus. So now, let us first head over to Google and search for WBUT PGET syllabus freshers now. So as you search like this, you can see the first link itself is from exams for precious now. Give a click on this and this particular page will be opening up for you. There is a basic introduction about the examination where the examination is conducted in the sections like general sections, mathematics, basic sciences and engineering sciences sections etc. So here before we head forward I would like to also request you to please join our telegram channel as well through telegram everything regarding entrance exams can be found instantly so don't forget to join us starting with the overview this is from West Bengal University of Technology giving you admission into various post graduation courses and here you have the official website as well in case if you want to cross check any of the information don't forget to do so and examination pattern is as follows the examination is going to be an objective based questions which is going to be conducted for two hours the test pattern or the marking criteria for all the sections are provided very clearly in a table format the total marks of the questions are 100 and there would be 100 questions asked general science section had 20 questions carrying 20 marks for mathematics, basic sciences and engineering sciences, you have 30 questions for 30 marks. For engineering section especially, you have 50 questions carrying 50 marks. So in total, 100 questions for 100 marks. Now the syllabus part, uh, apart from knowing your basics or covering out all of the fundamentals of the particular concept, you should be actually focusing on the advanced level of the concept as well. We would be starting with the reasoning section. For reasoning, you have to be working on logical reasoning, data sufficiency puzzles, non-verbal reasoning, and uh, data interpretation, analytical reasoning. For aptitude, you have time and distance, problems on trains, time work partnership, ratio and proportions, both and streams, simple interest areas, averages, and HCF and LCM problems, and uh, problems which are related to numbers, volumes, profit and loss, odd man out, races and games, numbers and ages, percentages, simple equations, quadratic equations, menstruations, probabilities, simplifications and approximations. Next off you have mathematics and science sections starting off with algebras, complex analysis and functional analysis, uh, all of the analysis sections which are complex, functional and real, also numerical analysis. Next ordinary differentiation equations. Next you have uh, just like probability section you have probabilities and statistics here. For engineering section, it is divided into the majors that you are going to choose. So MTech. Starting with MTech, you have PSLI designs and embedded technology, electronics and communications, microelectronics, information and technology, uh, nano science and technology, multimedia and software systems, ceramic technology, um, then computer system technology, software engineering, bio, medical instrumentation, biotechnology and telecommunications. For ME, you have computer science and engineering. For M farm, uh, pharmacology, pharmaceutical and uh, chemistry and pharmaceutics, pharmacology. Then you have quality assurance and uh, pharma regulatory affairs, the evolutions which are being made in the pharmaceutical fields. If you have any other queries regarding this, don't forget to place them in the comment section. Also, thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Don't forget to subscribe to Precious Now as well for more informative videos regarding entrance exams.